A lot of people have dreamt of starting their own business or dreamt of becoming an entrepreneur. Well, not me. I didn't always want to be my own boss. I kind of fell into entrepreneurship on accident. But I'm extremely happy I did because I'm enjoying every second of it. By the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how I got started and why I would encourage you to get started as an entrepreneur. If you're new to the channel, my name's Justin Yarong. I'm a real estate investor and entrepreneur here in Las Vegas. I've made hundreds of videos teaching people about real estate, money, and self-development. And the goal of this channel is to help you grow your money and your mindset. But here's my origin story. It all started in college. Like I said before, I wasn't always trying to be my own boss. I actually got a degree in finance, hoping to be like a financial advisor or an investment banker. But I ended up not going that route because as I studied the topics and the subjects of finance, I was like, I don't really like this stuff that much. And outside of my normal college schoolwork, I had a couple other hobbies. And one of those hobbies was working out. I loved exercising, I loved bodybuilding, and I was sort of obsessed with it for a couple years. And during the few years that I was perfecting my physique as a bodybuilder and just obsessing with the topic, I worked out with a lot of different people, my friends, family, and everyone else. And there was this one workout that I had with my brother. He was the first one to encourage me to become an entrepreneur. He saw how good I was at training other people when I worked out because I worked out with him and I taught him a lot during the workouts. And he told me, hey, you should become a personal trainer. I remember him asking me why I wasn't a personal trainer already because I was already teaching people high level skills of how to train properly. And I was doing it for free because they were my friends and I just loved to train. And after about a week or two of him telling me that, I started the process of me trying to become a personal trainer. And then I started gathering clients and then I started my personal training business. And when I first started I started personal training, it was just a side hustle at the time. I had two other main jobs I was doing and personal training on the side, but the personal training, even though I was spending probably like a tenth of the time doing it, I was making just as much money from the training than I was working like 30, 40 hours at my other jobs because they're like close to minimum wage jobs. And then training, I could charge a lot more because I had a real skill set to provide. Fast forward another year, I started working at a bank full time. It was a 40 hour job, full time bank job. I think I was making like $40,000 at the time at the bank. And when I was working full time at that bank, I was still doing my personal training on the side. I was working in the mornings, in the evenings, and then all weekends. So I would be working a lot. And what I found fascinating as a new entrepreneur at the time was that I was working maybe 15 to 20 hours a week on my personal training and then I was working 40 hours a week at my bank job and the 15 to 20 hours a week personal training matched the income from my full-time W-2 bank job. And the moment I realized that, I knew I wanted to be my own boss. And now that you know my story, let me give you two reasons why I think that you should be an entrepreneur yourself. Number one, you get to be your own boss, which comes with a lot of extra benefits. If you are your own boss, you get a lot of flexibility. You aren't stuck to a certain amount of hours every single day for one period of time. You can do different things throughout the day. Now I say it's flexibility, not freedom. If you are planning to be your own boss and an entrepreneur, you still have to work really hard to achieve your goals and to make money. It doesn't mean you can just kick back and relax and experience true freedom, but what you do have is flexibility. So you have flexibility with your hours, you have flexibility with the decisions you make in the business. And that was something that I struggled with too, being a W-2 employee at a bank. When I was working for the bank, I had a lot of different ideas, like ideas for improvement. And I always presented those ideas to the people above me. And often my ideas were shut down even though I knew they are amazing ideas and I already implemented them myself, like certain things that would create different spreadsheets for different things that would make their processes easier. And I was like, wow, like why are my ideas being shut down? Like this is so much easier if you just do it this way. And once I became my own boss, I realized that I had the decision and the freedom to choose how I wanted to work. And I love that feeling. I still love it to this day. The second reason I think you should become an entrepreneur is because there is literally unlimited income potential. You can make as much money as you want as an entrepreneur. It's up to you. This is very different than a normal W-2 job. For example, when I was working full-time at the bank I was at, I was capped at $40,000 a year at a certain income. While it is nice to have that kind of stability and not having to worry about the ups and the downs, I still was capped no matter how hard I worked, no matter how much I innovated, 
and I hated that feeling. I knew I worked harder than everyone else. I knew that I innovated, yet I was still capped at a certain income and I hated the feeling. I know you might hate that feeling too, although there's a certain trade-off. When you become an entrepreneur and you go full-time at it, you likely will not have consistent income at the beginning of your business and your entrepreneurship journey. It's possible you might, but it's likely that you won't. So there's a certain trade-off you have to make. But in my eyes, it is well worth it to be your own boss, to have all that flexibility, and to have unlimited earning potential. Also, if you wanna grow your real estate business, whether you're brand new or if you already have deals under your belt, DM me the word coach on Instagram at Justin, you're wrong. I'll see you at the next one.